M0FX3 Radtail RT950 Pro model. Someone asked me, how do you turn on triple watch? See, it says there TW. So you've got A, B, C. There's an A, B, C button here. And I can turn mine on just by going into menu. menu. Going down to user key, then select. And then I've selected long press five. Okay, number five, which is this one here, long press. Select, and then I've selected standby set. Standby set, okay? Select that, Confirm. and then back out. So now when we press and hold the five, it's on at the moment, okay? Let's go up one, off, Confirm. back. And that's it. So now TW has turned off. So we're not monitoring all three anymore. We've still got A, B, C. And the other one is if you want to put C, B here, say 0, 0 2, 2, 7, 7 it won't go in. So all you do is turn the radio off, hold the down arrow, little down one, keep your finger on it, turn it on, don't let go, and the radio will say test mode. So now on the C band, it will let you. It will let you put in a CB and it will let you transmit. And the C, the one, two, third button is also um, a PTT. But you have to set it. So you go menu, down to the buttons again, user, where is it? There is user in red, select, PF1, select, and you've got your usual searches, radio, scan, search, SOS, I have to try that, but that's cool, Spectrum's very cool, uh, Beacon TX for your APRS, uh, but PTTC, select, you back out, and we're going to put in a, just going to do a Ta da We have a PTTC. Let's see what the SOS looks like. Now we go one, four. No, it's not letting me put it in there now. <laughs> Try it there. Did you hear it? The radio actually clicks. So let's go menu. User key again. PF1. Select. There you are, alarm. We go menu again. User, PF1. Let's do Spectrum. There you are, and obviously you need activity. I have done a video on moving that, but moving the down now. I see the green line moves down. Uh, that's like turning down your, that's like lowering your squelch. So we put in, uh, you can type in your frequency. There's some air band there. Oh look, we get some activity straight away. So that we'll lower it down. And start to, people that break the, oops. That break the squelch, you're gonna hear them. So I know a lot of people moan about this and this USB connector because it's not easy and twin pin. But remember, the good thing about that USB connector, you can have it connected and you know for programming the radio and other parameters. But also, you can hear the radio. So for the sake of one screw, which is more effort than usual, there is a benefit. And then along here, when things are activated, if you notice, it now says dual watch dual watch, uh, which means it's, it's monitoring two bands, but you can see the air band coming through there. Dual watch has stayed, yeah? So that's interesting, isn't it, that it goes into dual watch, although it, it's not turned on. And is it because I've got CB there? Let's try and go menu. Actually, we had it on number five, didn't we? Let's turn that on. Dual watch is lit now, so I would say it's monitoring two of these, probably the top two. 
because we chose CB there. CB. Now, if we go ABC, so, uh, one, three, three, eight, five, cancel. No, it's not letting me do that. Let me put in. So, I would say when you go into full band mode, so to come out of full band mode, you turn it off. Hold the arrow down again, turn on. Welcome. Yeah, we're in normal mode now where we can have One, three. three. We can have air band there, but you lose tri triple receive. So hopefully this video explains dual watch, triple watch, how to set buttons. You can set every single button with long press. PF1 and PF2 is on the side. The bottom two, one, the top ones can be a PTT, but also, you know, this is like MO is monitor, it turns off the squelch, APRS, Vox, and then lock button. So I just have to say that this radio, at the price that it's selling, especially the Pro model, which gives you the HF, and, and if you're not getting the zero HF mode, and you press and hold the zero, I'll come in now if I quickly flick my antenna to a long wire. HF there and you can you can just press menu and change your modulation You've also got LNA you can save a memory channel Just select one that you haven't used it even puts the frequency there. How good is that? And then LNA low noise amplifier frequency step and bandwidth which you can set and, and fine-tune just by pressing the star it's the same settings. See the red moving, and then you put the red up here, you can type a frequency. That's just flicking through memory channels, hit VM, VFO memory. Modulation, if you want. LS, you know, upside band, lower side band, just go modulation, and there it is there, and you get CW as well, if you want it. Confirm. Oops. <laughs> we want lower side band for now, and yes, it with an app, it will decode FTA, obviously the radio doesn't decode it, the app does, but, and it works really well. And this is good, clear audio. All right, so you've got a HF radio. I'm using a 49 to 1 ballon and a 66 foot length of wire, but you can use a really good loop. You've got a HF radio. You've got VHF, UHF, airband. You've got the CB radio that works on 4 watts and with a clean harmonics. The VHF, UHF is clean harmonics. It's a fantastic radio, and anyone that ever moans about this radio is in cuckoo land. Bye for now. Hit the like, subscribe.